Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, long division in this session. Let's get started. Now, if you have forgotten long division, don't worry about it. I'll do a quick little revision exercise and then um, we'll get straight into it. So, if I want to divide 16 by 5, um, what I do is I write it up like this. And I know that um, 5 times 3 is 15 and 16 take away 15 is equal to 1. Now, if you haven't seen this before, um, unfortunately, I don't have an extended video for this one, but um, I'm sure you can find a few other examples online. But anyway, moving on from this, I'm just going to write that 16 in blue, because there are a few terms you need to know about long division. The number 16 in this case is called the dividend, and the number 5 is called the divisor, 3 is called the quotient, and finally, 1 is called the remainder. So if we do 16 divided by 5, we could rewrite it as 3 plus 1 over 5. Now, what does this mean in terms of algebra for us? Just want to show you an example. Say we want to divide x squared plus 10x plus 24 by x plus 4. Now what we know is that this part right here is the dividend and the x plus 4 is the divisor. So setting it up, it's going to look like this. So, as you can see the first term in the blue line is actually, in the, in the blue part is x squared. So I need to multiply x by something to get x squared and the obvious choice here would be x because if I do x multiplied by x plus 4, I'm going to get x squared plus 4x. Now, the whole point of x squared plus 4x is so I can get rid of the x squareds. So in, in fact, I'd write it up like this. So I'd have x squared plus 4x. Now I need to subtract the red line, well, all, all of the red characters from the blue ones. So in other words, I've got x squared minus x squared is 0. 10x minus 4x would equal 6x. And that's it. The next part, the 24, I need to bring it down. So it's going to be 6x plus 24. Now, I've got x plus 4 as my divisor, and I've got 6x plus 4 plus 24 at the bottom here. So that means I've got to multiply x plus 4 by positive 6. So I can eliminate 6x, because 6 multiplied by x plus 4 would give me 6x plus 24. So in this case, I'm just going to write it in a different color so you can see it. So the 6x plus 24 is going to end up there. And of course, both of these things subtracted with, e with each other is going to give you 0. So in this case, the remainder is 0, the quotient is x plus 6. But we, we kind of know that, because if we take x plus 4 and we multiply it by x plus 6, we're actually going to end up with the dividend, which is x squared plus 10x plus 24. All right, I'm going to show another example, but this time we're going to be working with more variables. Hopefully you guys can stay with me. Okay, in the next example, I want to divide x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 5 by x minus 1. So I know that this is the dividend, and we have the divisor, so I'm going to set it up. There we go. Now, as you can see, the first term in the blue line is x to the power of 4. So I know that I need x cubed multiplied by x. So the first term I'm going to put in quotient is going to be x cubed. And of course, x cubed multiplied by x minus 1 is equal to x to the power of 4 minus x cubed. So I'm going to replace, I'm going to put this back into the long division. I've got x to the power of 4 minus x cubed. Now I've got to subtract this, so x4 minus x4 is 0, 2x cubed minus minus x cubed would equal 3x cubed. I need to bring just one term, so I'm going to bring down minus x squared. All right, now going back to the quotient, this time I'm looking at 3x cubed. So I would have to multiply, I mean, I'd have to multiply x with 3x squared. You always eliminate that first um, 
uh, first variable. So in this case, I've got 3x squared multiplied by x minus 1. Now that's equal to 3x cubed minus 3x squared. So I'm going to write that down here. And once again, I'm going to subtract, subtract the, the, the two lines here. 3x cubed take away 3x cubed, it's so obviously 0. Minus x squared minus minus 3x squared would equal plus 2x squared. So bring the next term down, which is positive x plus x. And of course, in the quotient, I need to multiply by 2x. So that way I can get rid of 2x squared. So moving along, you're going to have 2x times x minus 1 equals 2x squared minus 2x. Now putting this line back in, I've got 2x squared minus 2x. And of course, repeat the process again. I've got to subtract the two terms. 2x squared take away 2x squared is 0. Plus x minus minus 2x would equal 3x. And now I need to bring down the minus 5. So it's 3x minus 5. And again, it's just repeating the same process. Go back to the quotient, and we're going to multiply this time by 3, because we want to get rid of 3x. So we've got 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 3x minus 3. So we're going to write that down. And we do our last bit of subtraction. 3x take away 3x is 0. Negative 5 take away minus 3 is equal to minus 2. So basically, we can actually say if you have x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared, or well, that whole thing divided by x, can be written as the quotient, sorry, divided by x minus 1, can be written as the quotient. The quotient in this case is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 and of course now it's plus the remainder which is negative 2 divided by the divi divisor which is x minus 1. Okay, one more example guys and again apologize for the video being a bit long. Alright, so this time I want to divide x cubed plus 9 by x plus 1. The dividend, there it is, x cubed plus 9, and divisor is x plus 1. I'm ready to set it up. Now, you might wonder why I've got such a long line there, but that's because, see, there are no terms, no x squared, there's no x's in the, in the dividend. So I've got to write it up as x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 9. And now I go on with my normal routine. So in the quotient, I'm going to have x squared. The reason being is x squared times x plus 1 is going to give me x cubed plus x. So putting that in, x cubed plus x squared, I've got to do my subtraction. x cubed take away x cubed is 0. 0x zero squared minus x squared is just minus x squared. Now, I've got to bring 0x down. So I've got plus 0x, and I've got to do the whole process again. So this time, I need to multiply by negative x so that I can get negative x squared. So negative x times x plus 1 would equal negative x squared minus x. I'm putting that in in the long division. And what do I got to do? I've got to subtract. So negative x squared minus minus x squared is 0. 0x zero minus minus x is just going to be positive x. And the next process here is bring down the 9. So I've got x plus 9. Now, I've got x here, so it's basically just multiplied by 1. And x plus 1 times positive 1 would equal x plus 1. So subtracting this, x minus x is 0, 9 minus 1 is 8. So in this case, I could say that x cubed plus 9 divided by x plus 1 is the quotient, which is x squared minus x plus 1, plus the remainder, which is 8, divided by the divisor, which is x plus 1. All right, guys, that's about it for long division. Um, hopefully, you've got all the ideas here for long division with um, algebraic terms. Yeah, thanks for watching.